Salutes as the big Royal Canadian Air Force plane from Montreal lands at Washington Airport. She wasn't even a queen when she met her first president, Princess Elizabeth, arriving in Washington in 1951. This, her first ever trip to the United States, President Harry Truman was there to meet her. It's a very great pleasure for me, as the President of the United States, uh, to welcome you to the capital of our country. She was crowned in 1953, and six years after that, she was the host of President Eisenhower at her Balmoral estate in Scotland. Next up was President Kennedy at a banquet at Buckingham Palace in 1961. The one president she never met was Lyndon Johnson, but his successor, Richard Nixon, managed to make it to the palace in 1969. ...had such a close friendship with his own. In 1976, the Queen was invited to America for the celebrations of the Bicentennial, where she met Gerald Ford. One year later, another banquet, another president, this time it was Jimmy Carter. He was succeeded by Ronald Reagan, who was given an honorary knighthood. As was the man who took over from him, the first President Bush. Next, President Clinton, seen here with the Queen at Buckingham Palace on his last trip to the UK as president. George W. Bush invited her to a state dinner at the White House, where she paid tribute to the bonds between the two countries. If the Atlantic unites, not divides us, ours is a partnership always to be reckoned with in the defence of freedom and the spread of prosperity. <laughs> Finally, Barack Obama, the latest occupant of the White House to meet Britain's Queen. One monarch, 12 presidents. Very soon, another one will be added to an illustrious list. Tim Ullman, BBC News.